Alright, so this week we've got triple cash and triple RP on community jobs. There's going to be a specific type of community jobs in here that are going to be dishing out the triple cash and triple RP. And what we're looking for here is a couple different races. This is one of them right here, which is an F1 race. Only takes about probably less than three minutes to complete. And we are going to be getting close to $13,000 every single time that we do these the little races here. So there's another one down here too. We just have to go through here and look through them. I haven't done this yet. Triple cash, triple RP. Yeah, we don't want to be doing the death matches or anything that requires more than one person. We want this to be a solo run. And we'll be talking about the mathematics of this real quick. So there's some more like right in there. Triple cash, triple RP. But we're going to be going to this other races down here. So there's a race right here. Any of these races that are dishing out triple cash and triple RP, they're all going to be giving around, around the same amount of money. So around $13,000. This is just for one lap that literally takes two to three minutes to go ahead and complete so here's another one like right here we could just do the go-kart one real quick so we can go ahead and start this up yep completely solo method here in which we could be grinding this out and if you guys do the math on it which i did so we're making close to thirteen thousand dollars each time that we complete one of these races which takes only from two to three minutes to go ahead and complete so by the end of completing close to like probably eight of these races uh, which doesn't take very long to do once again you're gonna be looking at around a hundred thousand dollars and right now if you are looking for some quick cash in the game super easy and this is solo so the fact that it is dishing out triple cash and triple rp makes it actually worth doing in the game so there's a lot of things you can do in the game but it makes it a lot more appealing when these things are dishing out the double cash and double rp or triple cash and triple rp now we're not after the rp here because the peyote plants have made their way back into the game so if you guys are wanting to know some peyote methods just go to the channel and check out some videos that we've made over there we're going to be making a bunch more as this is like the first day of the peyotes and we got like six more days of the peyotes left to be grinding rp so check this out that's all that i did i just went around in one lap that's it didn't race anybody didn't involve anybody like two minutes and 36 seconds right there and we made twelve thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars don't worry about the rp because once again we're not after rp here we're just after the quick cash that this is going to be making us once again that's just one race that took me literally less than three minutes to complete and i'm almost rocking thirteen thousand dollars from that which is triple cash and triple rp so normally what would i be making what like three thousand or something like that or less than that maybe like four thousand or something I'm not really sure, but yeah, if you break it down, you're really not making that much money uh, regularly. This is why we take advantage of double cash and double RP. So you guys don't need to buy any modded accounts. You don't need to buy shark cards. You just have to play the game. That's all you have to do with any game to get ahead. You don't have to cheat. You don't have to do nothing like that. There's plenty of ways right now in Grand Theft Auto 5 to be making tons of legit money without having to ruin your experience by buying, buying something like a modded account which is, uh, you know, a waste of money in my opinion. So here's another one real quick, which I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. This is the F1 race. This one may take just a little bit longer, but the cool thing and the fun thing about the F1 race here is the fact that we actually get to use boosts as you guys, if you own an F1 vehicle, these things are great. So how to go ahead and initiate the boost is just by doing the braking a whole bunch. Not the E-brake from my experience, but I think it's like the L1 braking or L2 braking, whatever console you guys are on, uh, whatever button it would be for the braking of the vehicle. Not the E-brake though. So the, like the more that you guys brake, the more boost you're going to be getting. And then we can just boost right through this stuff, even though I've sped up the, uh, the video play just to show you the race itself. Quick play. So just to show you like how easy this is this one actually had like a lot of turns and stuff like that and i ended up going down the wrong way right there but we got it done in about three minutes i think so anywhere from two to three minutes right now in the game you guys can be getting around thirteen thousand dollars right there it's the same twelve thousand eight hundred and seventy dollars and if i did a couple more of these like a few more a handful more if I even grinded this all day, I could potentially become a millionaire off doing these super easy races. It doesn't get much easier than this when it comes to making some quick cash. Yeah, there are small amounts of cash, but it's not the one payout that we're looking at. It's the overall amount of money that we made that day in Grand Theft Auto 5. And how much effort did we actually put in? How much time did it take us to make this amount of money and, and so on and so forth? Which right now, great method right now of making some quick cash in the game. So if you guys enjoyed video, 
video and was helpful, hit that like button down below on the way out. Subscribe for more content so you guys don't miss out on daily GTA 5 online videos. But from there, thanks for watching. My name is Gravesite, Green Alien, and I'm out of here. So, peace.